everybody, my name is Dizzy and welcome to uh, not what we expected uh, for today. Uh, hello to Bim Bim and Shaka in the chat, it's lovely to see both of you. Uh, yeah, Shaka, you, you, uh, you're you ill currently. Uh, it's very sad. It's not your fault, don't be silly. No one controls when they get ill. Um, and goodness knows I've been ill and missed days on this channel more than is is sort of normal or reasonable. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Only joking. Uh, but yeah, so no Baldur's Gate 3 today. Uh, so instead, for a while, I've been kind of wanting to see if I can find a slot in my schedule to, like, regularly check out whatever the free Epic Game Store game of the week is. Uh, and that, so far, hasn't really been forthcoming, but... There was a new game yesterday, as there is every Thursday. I don't know why they, they change on Thursdays. It's such a strange day to change. But uh, there was a new game. Uh, and it's called Sailforth. And it looks cute and sweet. So I thought that uh, for today, to fill a, a, a sudden unexpected gap in schedule, I would have a look at that. Uh, let me see if I can pop it on your screens, maybe. Keep beginning to get the free games. I have a permanently open Epic Game Store tab in my Firefox. That's one of the only tabs that like regularly survives the purges of tabs. Um, because otherwise I will also forget to get the free games. Ah, uh, that's the only way I can I can force myself to remember. Uh, okay, okay. click to start. Okay, we have. Three options. I don't understand two of them. Options. Let's have a look at options. Uh, people can tell me if it's a good volume. Uh, we have a Kelly to chat this game. Cool, thanks for streaming it, so I don't need to download and play it if it's shit. That's sort of the idea. It's like, you know, there's all these three games. Are any of them worth getting? Like, the ones I recognize are worth getting, and I have played a free Epic Games game on this channel before, because I played Beyond Blue, which was fantastic. Uh, so some of them obviously are high quality. Uh, I don't see any audio options here. I might just be being blind. There's no scrolling. Oh, audio, there we go. I'm in the wrong tab for audio. Uh, it looks kind of okay. On, on OBS, so I'm gonna say if no one speaks up, we're gonna say that the audio is probably fine. Have a quick look at the controls. Oh, menu except on space. Okay, so it's also on click. Um, do do do. Steering left, right. Contextual action. Everything seems to be on space. Right on menu on tab. E, M for map, sure. B, which is a button I'm never ever going to remember for fleet management. Let's hope we don't need that. Play, sure. Uh, accessibility. Do we have subtitles? No, okay, that's fine. Alright, let's, I guess, jump into an adventure. New game. Oh, okay, so it's procedurally generated. I quite like procedural generation uh, in things, just for to get a different experience every time, but it's, it's only necessary if you're expecting your game to have lots of replays or lots of replay value. Uh, we have a little spec. The North Star, hello! Be aware and listen well. Unsettled, though magnificent, is the deep blue. The unseen look forward of all folk now dwindles. Does that mean future? Gather the bold and beleaguered who sail on stormy seas. Billow their sails. What, like, just by going <laughs> into them? Unveil the lost answers of the Ever Horizon. Gorb speed, dear believer, and sail forth. Okay, thanks, North Star. I 
I'm pretty sure the North Star's not supposed to explode. Um. <laughs> okay. We have some water and a boat. I assume that's us. Hello. We're asleep on the boat. Hold click. Ah! It's morning. Called <laughs> Captain Toot! Okay. Ouchie. That was the close one. This is this is what happens to that duck in in Animal Crossing the whole time. <laughs> this is what happens to him. So where the dirty duck am I? Okay. Camera on mouse. Time to get moving. Guess I'll break out the oars first. Uh... Okay. If I if I hold W, I can I can add some sails. The steering is. As responsive as you expect from a boat, sure. I've got these sort of bars down at the bottom, but I'm not really sure what they do, but it's fine. Oh, land! Ahoy there! Don't leave me high and dry! Okay. Smell that fresh breeze, would ya? You don't look much like a goose. Goose. Uh, smells like a new day, I guess. You'd never suspect something terrible has caught the sea. Some untoward malice against the adventurous. I see there's another island off to the left there. I'm lucky as beans who came along. Being stranded here after a hearty heap of misadventures. Oh wait, this isn't an island, this is a boat. Oh dear. Misadventures is my maiden name! <laughs> Oh, we have a king girl in chat, welcome. Uh, are we sailing? I get seasick something fierce, I'm already feeling dizzy. Oh, king girl, king girl. <laughs> uh, um. uh, I think we'll cut your jib, your scrappy ships in scanty shape. That old catawampus won't hold the both of us, show us seashells. What say you go snatch out some juicy wooden planks, and we get right rigged for high adventure? No one says they seem to be speaking Animal Crossing ease too. Oh, they probably are, oh, aren't they? I'll have, li have a listen, hang on. Um, indubitably, two makes a crew. Yes, fish and chips! Whopper hearts still sail these waters. Turn your peepers to the west and have a gander. See that there tumble sunk vessel? Snatch up its smithereens and I'll jerry up that rattle trap of yours. God, the, uh, the slang is sure something. Uh, we have a trans in the chat, welcome. How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, there's like a blue patch on the sea there. I wonder if that means something. Yeah, we're just, uh... I thought E was to do stuff with the sails, but apparently it just happens when I hit W and S. Uh, I will say, I'm not like holding W right now, my, my other hand is free. Uh, it's just a, it's just a throttle mechanism. Don't mind me, old timer. Just passing by, borrowing your bits. Plus vessel blueprint. Sweet cheeses, I'm rich with wooden planks now. What's these weirds? Give papers, blueprints. <laughs> you're always having a good day when you're watching cool and good streamers. You, you cheeky flatter, are you? All right. I don't really. I don't have a lot of control over speed. I've got like. I've got no speed, or speed, and sail speed, and that's kind of about it, really. Oh look, there's a seal. Hello. Hi. Come say hi. I'm not also 
entirely sure how I'm steering this boat because I don't currently have any hands on the uh, on the rudder, but that's fine. This is quick. Us get punches. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm, I'm strictly speaking, I'm not old enough to get that reference. I don't think, but luckily my parents uh, it brought me up well on music tastes. Oh dear. All right. I have got someone for you. Also some blueprints. Hey, you came back for me! Look at that hall! Wooden planks and ship blueprints! Kaboom! Let me show you the ropes. Oh! Wow, that's that's quite the upgrade. Okay, we now have a crew of two. The sumptuous curves are making me sweat. Um, now we're tactile, cut water polished, their mizzens are let to billow. Are they? <laughs> It says, is Seal not our lifetime? I didn't think it was. I mean, to be fair, I don't actually know. I only know it through my parents, so I assumed it was it was old person music. <laughs> Where is it? What's this glorious vessel called? Right, can't get shanties read about or doing to that proper name. Oh, we need to name our boat. Just what it says. Kiss from, okay, Kiss from Rose is 94. That's before I was born. There we go. I feel valid. Um, Batman Forever soundtrack. Oh, I had no idea. Um, all right. There we go. We we found a name for a boat. <laughs> oh, nice one, Captain. The illustrious kiss from a rose is breaking the waves. You realize what this means? We go retire. <laughs> Hustle everybody! Um, our little baby raft is all grown up! It means sailing without cannonry is a death wish. Especially with all this craven malice about. Oh, we need guns. <laughs> gonna need a bit of boom boom, eh? <laughs> boom boom, you're gonna join us on the boat! Ah, <laughs> 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 sort of. My old fiasco ship went down not far from here. May it rest in a billion beautiful pieces. King of this creepman slash malice is my favourite mob graphic. <laughs> Can I go see if the cannons are intact? Sure. Oh! You know what? It's a lot less characterful now that it's like fixed. There's something in the water over here. Oh, no, it's sunk. Never mind. Whatever it was, is gone. Oh, I see, we're now no longer the ones doing the rowing. We've now got Goose to do the rowing for us. <laughs> Alright, let's sail in gently. There it is. Good to see the old beauty. Even like this. We have our first cannon. Can I get this big old crate up on the uh, on the rocks there? Blammo. That wooden crate there was my cargo. Well, it sank when my tots got tainted. Too bad it's all locked up like a cowardly clown on Krebs. How do we get the darn thing open? Maybe we apply just a tiny amount of force. We're going to shoot it. Like a super responsible amount. <laughs> We're all kaboom! Our mighty cannon dispensed their supremely responsible amounts of force once more. Okay. We've got some shiny business real quick. So, tab for the radio menu. Open cargo. Select the item, choose equip. Boop. How do I choose equip? Ah, there we go. Equip. Right, we have one slot. Locked and loaded. Okay. How about you, inanimate wooden box? I don't aim but shift. Can I rebind that? Is anything... Can I rebind that to, to left click? Uh... 
No, that's Toggle Harpoon. Okay. We shot it! Blammo, we got our map fragment! She needs shiny muscle fell out. If I'm being honest, not exactly the riches I was hoping for. There's a map fragment! <laughs> I just got the achievement for doing the tutorial. Oh my god. Um that's the case is apart from here. So of course sails to the wind. Where am I going? Come okay. Oh, can I just fast travel there? Okay, that's less exciting. I guess. Come okay, Sandy Shores. This must be the place. Where do we even start? Check the map! Open the radial menu and select. You guessed it. Map. King Girl says, Do you think pirates spend their time debating which is better? <laughs> Booty or a large chest? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. What's this? What am I what am I supposed to do with the map? Of a skull clan fort. I guess that looks like a fort, doesn't it? Are we gonna have to shoot some balls? The skull clan. Oh, flying fish! Can I shoot those balls? Uh, I'm not sure what this thing in front of me is when I hit shift. Maybe that's the area I can shoot in? Possibly? Not sure. There's something on the water ahead of us again, but I think it's going to be gone by the time we get there. Yeah, no, I can't shoot over that way. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Jumpin' jellyfish! What's that jumbo-sized skull over yonder? Them's the skull clan! Keep wearing their waters as such. They're a clutch more likely to sink a sailor than to wave a hoy. Okay. Then the call to burst them and they all got loot. So we can shoot them? Engage! Oh, I missed. Wow, we have... We have pretty short range on this thing. got a little bit of a problem with going backwards or sideways. Uh, hello? Help! I'm stuck! Uh-oh. I think they shot themselves. Amazing! We did it! Uh, Boomer says, I would normally be Team Booty. My immediate thought was of the amazing chest in Dark Souls. <laughs> okay, new plan. Go up to a thing and just crash into it and then let them shoot themselves. I didn't see what you said there. Uh, do I have a way of seeing what my next objective is? New locations, apparently. 
According to a map, we found the skull clan are super interested in some kind of artifact here. Okay, can I can I just get there? Oh, what's this? Photo sheet. Interesting. Uh Finding it very difficult. We can adjust or trim our sails, can we? Try trimming the sails to match the indicated position. Okay, I see. In general, when we're sailing downwind, we want our sails trimmed all the way out. When we're sailing upwind, we want our sails trimmed all the way in. Oh, okay. I see. Let's just get the stuff out of the sick. Oh, did we not do that? I naively thought we'd done that already. Also, there seems to be a big skull on top of this rock. Can I shoot that? Okay, no, the safe is already in. See if we can find this photo sheet thing. And then I assume we're going to the next island. There's definitely stuff to be had here. Ugh. Growing backwards can be useful to back out of a sticky situation. Oh, we can go backwards! That's handy. She told me that a little while ago. Oh, that needs a harpoon. I don't think I have a harpoon yet. Hi, guys! Inkle Blunderer. Jesus did say this. Got a moment. My partner here forgot to remind me to pack our camera. My shame is eternal. Can you believe it? On a beautiful Flums Day like this, I snuggle in a cozy itchy blanket to regret. Any chance you got a camera on board? We'll come back when we find one. We'll be here if you ever find one. And I'll be here standing in my shame. Oh, Pat. I'm guessing it probably isn't your fault, to be honest. Alright, let's see if we can get a bit of a turn on. Now. Okay, if I just set the... Set the marker down to there. Oh, 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 I've beached it. Oh, I beached it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, we can cut this corner. We could, in fact, not cut this corner. Um. Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's fine, we've got a fast travel option. There's a merchant here who sells upgrades and boats. Noted. <laughs> uh -oh. This is fine. What I want to know is what's the current? Because, like, so far I've only picked up wood. Okay, let's have a look at the area. I don't really know. Oh, it's a big old question mark there. Let's go have a look at that. Wow, deja vu. I feel like I've been here before. Oops, wrong button. You <laughs> bonk out your thick feet. No, not yet! Just remember there's a shipmate shop. Some angler wrangles. 
nine, all a tinkle for mutually beneficial commerce. Let's rock it up and stock up. Hello. You're also after a camera. I hear the angler wranglers have a camera. Just in case anyone interested in it listening is interested. Ah, well there's the angler wranglers. Oh, there's a seal again. Oh, god, there's loads of them. Hi, guys. I named my boat after you. Ish. Oh, we've got an achievement of Windmaster, apparently. Look alive, you crusty old barnacle beans. There'll be likely customers impending upon us. I call them a rump and gloves. <laughs> Dust out them doldrums. You got three as gloves. This is Grant Schnapps. Um, there's customers approaching. Splendid goods! Goose day upon ye sailors. Come bout and settle your sails. <laughs> Long customers to the deep blue and beyond. You're sure to find what you need at. Ye oldie angler angler emporium. At your service. Reckon we be the honestest angler wranglers about. You can call me Snaps. You met Big Harumph down there. Salutators. That just leaves old gloves. Okay, I guess they do different things. You sell fish, the other guy sells a camera, the middle guy sells boat customization, maybe? <laughs> right on the old potato. <laughs> Here be the only droll fish and soul you need to know. You fish him, I fill him. You done it got tackle. Pick him up with some hooks, gloves. Wanna bob some bait? Uh, you all talk funny as this about fishing. Simple matter of mind over snapper. Take this, tis disun. Patious to go alone. Oh my god. Bring about all the fishes you can catch. I'll make it profitable for you. It gives me a ding dang a lot. As if no doubt noticed, I'm an artist. Here we go again. Alas! Heavy with heavy with woe is me artisanal flow. Me mind ever drowning in creativity block. I know that feeling. Perchance can you take some adventure photos for me? Agree, and this only slightly used camera can be all yours. Used items smell like sweaty nasty hands. What's wrong with you? Uh, does it have a lens that will keep us focused? I crave the elusive minxy news mama inspiration. Oh, bungler, can he see past his nose? <laughs> Snap any bangs that might put another twirl on my twirly stash. I'll keep you flush with wood and resupply your photo films. Got it. Amazing. This is when you're getting an adventure time vibe. <laughs> These two old codgers done squawking. I only know the real service it'd be ship customization. I was so right about all of these things. Speak with the Australian when you want to spruce that goose. That moose be loose again? <laughs> Couldn't hear a steam whistle on a Saturday. Wow, what a sentence! I should incorporate that into my vocabulary. You couldn't hear a steam whistle on a spatter day. Look alive! The ancient cheese doodles ready to do that thing? Ye or the Angler Angler Emporium. Your fishy photo film and fancy paint salvation. Alright. Uh talk to you. How does this work? Uh how do these photo collections work? Yeah, your main collection will be full of Glory's Muse approved art subjects. I'll hold on to all these photos automatically. Otherwise, you can add photos of anything you like to your private collection. You'll not hear a snarky judgement on taste or composition from me neither. Swap around however you like. Okay. 
and this photo film one. Every time you bring your roll of adventure photos, we'll develop all the shots. Once all done, I'll give you a new roll of film. That way, you can get back out there and find more goodies. Prove to be a real prolific photographer, and we'll see about getting some better photo film. Okay. Uh. Someone else. Angler Angler. Uh, how does this work? Except for sea snails. Drop your line in fish waters. You'll see him leaping and frolicking. Oh, okay, yeah, I've seen fish leaping and frolicking. I was thinking about trying to hunt them with a with a small cannon. Um, <laughs> but I guess a fishing rod is, is more appropriate. Very types come wiggling in different weather timings. Oh, different weather timings and spots. Bring about one we haven't seen before. Bingo bongo. You still got wondrous colorations for that ship of yours. Okay, so new fish equals new customization options. May the fish be with you. Okay. And then Angler Angler Harum. That time to boost your gifts. Sail decal. Sail colour. Ah, I see. Okay, oops. Sail decal colour. There we go. Uh, sure. Boat primary colour. We okay. So we're, we're currently we're quite limited in in colours. Real glorious, real glorious visuals on that one, friends. Blimey, time to head out. Okie dokie. So now, we can go back to that guy, and we have a sort of sun thing on our sail. Which I'm actually honestly not that fussed about, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> One last thing before you shove off. See, we was palavering and... There's likely be lots to lay on somebody, but you see, friends... Desperate times! Um, Bimba says these can't be vegan baits so if we need fish for them. No, no, I suppose not. It once had a zillion shiny emporiums all over this dazzling deep blue. It kept us busy, and it was right convenient for customs. Sorry to say, we lost them all to pillaging stank pirates. Not stank pirates, they'll steal all of our stank. Um, we spy them crackle cannons and rabble rousers on your deck there. So can you help? Clear them out so we can reclaim them. <laughs> so it's just, maybe the fish is just for inspiration. Uh, we also have a first time chat from the Smitchell. Good morning, welcome. It was lovely to uh, to run into you the other day. How's it going? Uh, I'm trying out this week's epic free game and it's difficult to interpret. <laughs> uh, let's, let's reclaim everything, sure. Three cheers to your chidlins. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, my, my illness that has been plaguing me for a while is, I think, definitely on the mend now. Touch wood. Uh, give all them stinkers a roasty pile driver or seven. Blimey. Glad to catch you. Oh, I'm glad to have you here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Bim Bim, for adding that as a quote. Oh dear. <laughs> Send the signal when the DB done. I'm hustling and set up shop real quick. Gorb speed up there. Okay. Right, so let's go back to this person who wanted a camera. Oh, hang on, this is a fishing spot, right? Uh. Open cargo? Cancel. How do I use it? Oh, I just hit space. Time to catch me a big one. Wait for a bite.
Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm moving the fish around with WASD. Gotcha. Uh huh. That's a really cute fish! Their uniquely hot coloration foretells of a spicy taste adventure that takes 24 to 48 hours to fully recover from! Some minor hallucinations and discomfort to be expected! It's a very cool looking fish. Well, part of the problem is that you can't really turn unless you, you, you're going forward. Oh, look, is this another one over here? <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to, like, full stop yourself. You just kind of have to... Um, we seem to have missed the fishing spot. Oh, a crate. Check out what we just dredged up. Ancient junk! My favourite! Yeah, you, you can't turn unless you're, uh, moving forwards, which is a little unfortunate. Is this another spot? This is another spot. And there's also... there's no visual indicator of where... of, like, what fish you're going to catch beforehand, I don't think. What's this guy? A yuck fish unanimously agreed to be the worst fish! That's so rude! Alright, well, we've got one. Do I have limited inventory space? I don't know, is the answer. Oh, let's also see what this, um. Perhaps someone else can identify it. Okay, we'll have to find somebody else who can deal with that, I guess. Right, I finally saved up for this boat. The only thing remaining to do is show it to everyone. You have time to snap a shot of the boat, yours truly. Any angle you choose is good, I'm incredibly photogenic. You're also a little bit underwater there, sir. Okay. Um... Photo? Oh, we can, like, fly around. <laughs> wow, thanks a ton. So when I got the boat, it had this laying inside. I have no use for it, why don't you take it? Oh, more ancient junk! Oh, we have a glass pistachio! Welcome! How's it going? It's lovely to see you here. Uh... Yeah, so nice to see you here, my goodness. New people. Lovely new people coming in. And thank you for the follow as well. That's so kind. Uh, yeah, we're checking out this week's free Epic game because I want to check out the Epic free games on, on the, the channel more often because they're free things that everyone can get if they like what I show them, basically. Enough of the fishing stuff. And it has a fishing mini game, which is pretty much all I've ever needed to keep me interested in the game. Oh, hello. The Midas Kingfish? Touching this fish to ordinary objects will not turn them to gold. It will, however, make everyone uncomfortable. Good. Wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, it looks like there's something off the coast of this island. It also looks like there's a shooting star or something going on over there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, interesting. This description is very fun. They are very fun. I remember reading a little bit on the... Uh... Uh -oh. oh, that's a rock. That's a rock. The thing in the water, that's a rock. We, we do not stand. But we do not want to get beached again. Yeah, I remember reading about the, the design process for the terrible jokes, in air quotes, that they have for the Animal Crossing fishing. This game aesthetic is so nice. It is, isn't it? Boats, boats, boats. I've obtained all the hottest deals. 
They are right here. Oh, you're a... You're an... You're an alien. <laughs> oh, we have a Skyland Zoe as well. How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful... I was about to say morning. It's actually afternoon now. But uh, I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. I see a person just by marketing prowess. Today is your lucky day. You're a little slug in the fifth big seat. Wow. I'll be out of business by this day. Out of business? I know it's expert, but maybe raise your prices? Not possible. Ocean floor prices are vital to compete with my ruthless sibling. It's a race to the bottom in this saturated ship space market. <laughs> You're in a price war with your family. Commerce and competition are in our blood. I suppose it could be quite destructive for all parties. So basically, like, this is the Amazon kind of model of, of, of floor your prices until all of your competitors go out of business so you can raise your prices kind of arbitrarily. Uh, yikes, will also be your reaction when you see these cuckoo banana bargains. Top of the line vessels, an unparalleled variety of upgrades. I have precisely what you're looking for. Let us make a deal. Let's build a new boat. These boats are the best boats, trust me. Okay, so wood, I guess, is the currency. Small cat range boat. Single sail allows more room for crew, has difficulty sailing up wind. Oh, okay. A cat rig with a stay sail and boom and mast instead of the sun. Less speed for crew. Less room for crew, more speed and firepower. A panda! This slug is slow moving but formidable for its size, with cannery on either side. Has a crew of four. A pelican. Is the pippin what we have here? I think the pippin is what we have. Nash. Single latine sail makes it fairly nimble. All extra space been sacrificed for extra cannon. Okay, so we have a weight capacity of 40 pounds. I have no idea what our current weight is. You'd be happy in something new. Let's look for upgrades. Okay. So we can get more guns. A great, a small gun fixed the deck of us. A great start for those looking to get into the privateering business. Gotcha. Bird's mouth flag. Gridian flag. Standing light keeper. You can just place them on the ground. Works great as a bathroom nightlight. Okay, well I think we've got two, two gun slots. Sell some cargo items. No, we're out of here. This is hot tip. New goods turn up every day. My prices are ever foolish. I'll eat my stylish and economical tie if you find a better deal. Yum yum. Come back daily and check a look. Wow. Okay, so can we now quit? For now, no, not that button, this button. Ah, now we've got different arcs of fire. Yes. Yes, this I like. Okay. I guess we can sail down between these bits of island. I want to give, while, while we're here, we should give all these bits of fish to, uh, to the fish guys before we move on. Is that a jellyfish in the water over there? I wish for a fish. I hope you can catch a jellyfish. That'd be cool. You can't normally catch jellyfish really like this. Oh yes, and the photo. True. Good point. Well remembered that boom boom. Do. 
Okay, so it's not always the same person who fishes either, like me and Goose take it in turns. Okay, what's this boy? A trognod! While there's absolutely nothing appealing or unique about this fish, maybe he secretly despise them! This is, this is injustice to fish going on here! I do not approve! I do not approve one little bit! Alright, is there anything... Yes, look. Don't go a bit slow so we don't beat ourselves. That needs a hard pick, which we don't have. Okay. Nothing else, I guess. That also needs a hard pick. Oh, I'm guessing this thing over here probably also needs a hard pick. Yeah, okay. Basically, we need to get ourselves a hard pick. That's fine. We will, I'm sure we will get a harpoon sooner rather than later. <laughs> the old Angler Angler Emporio. Emporio, right. Talk to Angler Angler Gloves. Fish, 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 all day, every day. Hand over my fish. Three cheers for your spanking new helic fish. Fish and chips! Had me a real revelationary realization. Keep this lovely pigmentation. Oh no, I do love orange. I think Harumph can fancy paint your ship with it. Less paint with all the colors of the deep blue. Amazing. You can pay a 60 wood for this. What other flounders? Flan oh, do we have the southern. We've got specific fish to sell you. I want to see what colours you get. Okay, sort of an off yellow. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Trognaut. Dazzling colour on this trognaut. Okay, so you don't despise it. That's given me grey. And then... The Yuckfish. The Thrill of Discovery! Also grey, but a different grey. You're all fished out! Sorrowness! Okay, I've got someone else. Photo guy. Hi! Hannah, my photo film. What's this? You snap to snap to end all other snaps! Call new boat 65. That dark photo got a real shine to it. Also, I love the, the rain. It's a bit loud though. This whole puddin' pop of a mind reels as I experience creation! Ah, so you give us new decals, I see, okay. Contributing the worth about 227 words. Ah, okay. There's a fresh photo film roll with five exposures. Can't wait to go through the next batch with you. Okay. So now I can get my. Hook, line, stick, gloves, your saucy plate of spaghetti. Alright. So, what if I now want to have. The worst idea for a boat colour ever. Uh, okay, hang on. No, better plan, better plan. Do it that way around. Another beauty! Time to head out! Uh... Oh! Species has just subscribed! Who Thank you so much for subbing! Who has finally fixed the problems he had been having with his bang? Fee or I, this guy? Oh! I'm so glad to hear you fixed problems! I'm not glad to hear that you were having problems! Um... My boat doesn't seem to be a very different colour to, to what it was before. I'll, I won't... I won't lie. But uh, thank you so much for subbing! That's so kind of you! Uh... Excuse me. Karam. We... Okay, what if I... Change it around. Okay. 
Okay, it has actually slightly changed the, the shape of the colour of my boat, but not a lot. <laughs> um, I guess we'll, I'll put it on the, as a decal colour as well. There we go. Phenomenal. Alright, where are we going next? Uh... Lichlet. According to a map, we found the Skull Clan are super interested in some kind of artifact. It says the decal is probably below the waterline. Yeah, I think our boat's just kind of a bit short for the, the colours to mean very much. Oh, Gloves likes the sail. I'm glad. That you just can't go wrong with blue and orange as a co colour combo. This is what every... Um, Every like movie poster has on it. Alright. Can we get a yeehaw? Huh. Well, we 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 are we're significantly up gunned compared with what we were before, so hopefully. Doc Zisso found this pestiferous rock creature. <laughs> Egad! Hello! Are you a mad scientist? <laughs> you have snuck upon me, silentious sailors. <laughs> Though perhaps I was merely lost in another mad labyrinth of thoughts. Nonetheless, I'm in a bit of a predicament, and I hate this. Shall I elucidate? These two are like you, I adore predicaments. Not understanding something is the first step toward delicious knowledge. Cast those optical organs skyward and look upon thy mystery. What say you, fellow knowledge seekers? It's a crystal seed? It looks like it's from Outer Wilds. What curiosities dost thou spy with your keen little eyes? Cute, we'll call it Professor Stony Balloon. I've obtained very little hard data. For some reason, it gives me an icky feeling. Due to inconvenient location, I've yet been able to properly study it. I don't think that's how you meant to say that, but sure. I am, of course, in the process of developing a marvelous contraption to retrieve it. Ah, this is how we get a hop in. I'll need some luminate. You see, Luminate comes from prisons which contain the untold secrets of the world that was. I believe that ancient power can be harnessed about the power of technology. So what says you? My newly anointed research assistant. Oh yeah, we got a job. Shall we embark on this quest for knowledge as one? Yes! <laughs> Wunderbar! Oh, he's German. Of course he's German. He's a mad scientist. I find it quite fortuitous that we met here on the grand precipice of discovery. Perhaps they were similarly drawn to the stone's power. Let us away to Palava with the keepers of the nearest lighthouse. They know a great many things about the world that was, illuminating included. Chart a course for Gull Coral Lands. Okay. There's a lighthouse here. It said they are run by nocturnal buildings. Okay. It's a bit of a trip. I think I would probably like it better without the fast traveling. Like, it's weird to say given that I am choosing to fast travel. But I feel like I might like it better if the fast traveling wasn't an option. Alright, what have we got? Question mark here, we've got something over there. Oh, that's Professor What's his deal? There's a boat of some description over there. I guess let's turn left. Uh... Yeah, getting going and steering is a little. A little tricksy. Yo, under Drexter. 
needs help. Hi there, are you by any chance looking to join the crew? Ah! Oh well, I picked him up. I also trashed whatever boat he what used to be on. Hi there. Hello? Looky here, it's a dang old dinghy in the drink. Looks like a beastie gobbled a chunker right out the bum of it. Came in the tummy rumblings for some. Their loss is our gain. Use wood. Repair the derelict for 601 crew. Yeah, love a good Cinderella story. Fleet size increase. Okay. I don't really know what, what, what my fleet does. Uh, oh, let's not hit it. There's a new boat in our fleet. You can manage it by opening the fleet management screen from the radial menu. Right. My my boats. Okay. Set fleet orders. Escort me. Okay. Manage docked boats. Ah, this is the panda. Okay. Oh, we can rename it. Oh, okay, interesting. And we can manage the crew. Oh, no, I don't want Goose to be the captain. Hang on. Uh, I like Goose. Manage crew. Who's this? Yo, under Drexton. Panda. Manage crew. Right. Goose, you're with me. I trust you with my life, Goose. Person who I've known for probably less than a day. Oh, and look! Okay, so that boat's fully fixed, but our boat isn't. Our boat has taken some damage. I see. Uh. How do I? Hang on. Can I? Can I? Sail the other boat. So, like, if I say this, do do, manage crew. I put myself below deck. Take command. Oh, okay, so I can I can I can be in charge of either boat no matter who's on it. Oh that's interesting. Interesting, okay. Alright, well, for now we're just gonna go in formation, okay? Well, there's the lighthouse. I guess full speed ahead. Interesting. God, has that only been an hour? It feels like we've been doing this game a while, but uh, apparently not so much. There's a... Uh... I'm a phenomenally bad shot. <laughs> we found a map fragment! We found a map fragment that marks the location of something nearby. Interesting. <laughs> If you want to explore somewhere else, we can travel using the world map. Tab. Open world map. Warm Sun K. I heard someone's looking for a race here. Oh, I hate races in games as a rule. Alright, hello. 
Lightkeeper Sprax. Oh, you have being spooky. Also, there's a pirate ship on the other side. Um, weary traveler, welcome to these hallowed isles. Made in the radiance of this humble lighthouse will be comforted. Worry not, I'm a simple lightkeeper. We're in order with many curiosities. Perhaps we can be of service to you, sailors. I think we're being attacked by pirates while this is happening. In addition to keeping our lighthouses operational, we search ancient artifacts from the world that was. Most are lost in time and darkness deep in the chasms of the ocean floor. However, should you encounter the Chinese, we'll gladly catalogue them. Moreover, your efforts will be rewarded handsomely. What say you? Artifacts and trinkets, got it. After all, these trinkets are useless to you. Perhaps you've already made such discoveries. Found some old-timey stuff you might be into. I assume you mean the ancient jungle. Quite the fight. I'll happily hand over some luminates. Amazing. Grace Twigs. One for each nostril. These were placed in the nose before each meal as a distinguished ritual of thanks. Fancier models were utilised for mating rituals. <laughs> oh, and we have a BPD Hotplate in the chat as well. Welcome. How's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm checking out this week's uh, free epic game, which I, I would like to do more often, but it's sort of been a case of finding, finding space in the schedule, you know? Uh, but this is currently free on epic. How long have I been doing it? Today. Today is, is how long I've been doing it. <laughs> um All right. What's this? And our oh, ancient junk is a TV remote, button brick, an idle toy used to placate overactive minds during business meetings and long periods of travels. Pressing the buttons and imagining the results is quite soothing. Uh, lemonade. Yes. And it's a skateboard? Transborder. <laughs> Transborders. Imagine being boarded by some trans people. Um, tool used in shipping yards to move products from place to place without lifting. Workers often customize these visually to distinguish theirs from others. Never mind. You lift the cell. Those spooky prisons. Ominous items, these. Not to be trifled with. Show me. Oh, I don't actually have any. Discover what mad thing answers the call of their joining. We beseech you. Seen anything interesting? Your map seems to be missing a look into the west. Ah. The lighthouse will show the way. It will remain lit until sunrise. Interesting. The artifact is said to be capable of telling day to night and night to day. You may find it useful to facilitate our future meetings. Always a pleasure. Okay, so I guess they only come out at night? Uh, we don't seem to have actually been killed by pirates while that was happening. Can I...? Okay, I can't see where that place to the west is. So I guess I've just got to sort of try and follow. Just kind of keep going this way, I guess. Oh, that's a shark. That's a shark there. Oh, we're now entering the deep wood. Well, so is our escort ship... Our escort ship is not escorting us. Okay. Good to know. Somewhere... kind of in this direction-ish. But who knows how far. Ah! Undiscovered location! I see. Well, wow, that's handy. Thank you, lighthouse people. What's it look like so far? Looks like co uh, exploration case game. Yeah, pretty much. It's it, it's got a cute aesthetic. There's 
combat, but it's not very intense. Uh, the people speak in, like, Animal Crossing speak. In fact, it feels... A lot of the vibe feels very Animal Crossing adjacent, like, aesthetically and, and kind of stylistically, even though the gameplay is obviously nothing similar. Your location is gone. Flying Cloud Isles. Oh, there's another lighthouse here. Oh, and lots of Skull Boys. Lots of Skull Boys. But yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be much kind of pressure to do things linearly. You're looking for trouble? I can miss you here. This is ridiculous. These crooks are trying to take all our food. Making nummy sounds and carrying on. Oh, I do make nummy sounds and carry on. Just listen. You put hook face perfumes? Because they stopped right when you showed up. They're just the worst. Won't you please help us? You can count on us. Water tally fetter. How about this, eh? Give us 148 wood, we'll forget about this whole thing. Deal? What a joke! Ha! See what happens, you build rats. You're going down. That's how it is? Fine. We'd rather take everything you've got anyway. Uh, can we, can we get a move on the ship, please? Oh my god! They really hurt, don't they? Ah, I'm stuck against this other ship! hard to aim. Luckily, we've got a chaser gun, which they don't. They, they don't have a tail gun. Uh, I think we've only got two health left. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh! Oh, we're very dead. I also realised this, this other boat uh, doesn't have any guns. Oh no. Um, can we? Can we? <laughs> hmm. I'm sensing a problem. Yes. Okay, that maybe wasn't the brightest idea we've ever had. Well, that that was the tale of the of the SS, the seal ship, is from a rose. Um, <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, I th I'm going back this way because I'm pretty sure that Thingy said they could recover a ship. The uh, the, the boys over here. I think they said they could recover a ship. I hope they can recover a ship. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not great at the combat. It must be said. It's gonna be a little slow. Oh, hello. Need another sailor, you say. Yes, yes I do. All my, all my old crew uh, just died, you see. <laughs> so I kind of do need another sailor, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming! It's not my fault which way the wind's blowing. Oh god, Goose, I said I'd trust him with my life! Yay! Amazing. Okay. Got a little bit more wind in our sails. Um, hmm. Yeah, that went poorly. 
That went about as poorly as it possibly could have. Hi. Um. Oh, it wasn't you, was it? It was the other guy who could who could bother. Hang on a sec. Sorry, I'm not here for you. Oh, we've got like lots of different speed options on this boat. Interesting. Hang on a sec. Got to turn around. Go to the place. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Oh, we should probably uh we should probably rename the ship now that we're sailing it. Uh What should we rename the boat? Um I might rename it Poison by right? Alice Cooper. There are some things that we could get if we had a cannon. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, rock, rock, rock! Ah! Okay, it's fine, we didn't hit the rock. We can go fishing, though. Another cognos. Phenomenal. Ah, this boat can really go faster than once too far. <laughs> I've obtained all the hottest deals. They are right here. Hi there. Is your illustrious fleet looking a bit thin? My extensive range of repair and recovery options can be explored at your leisure. I have precisely what you're looking for. Recover my lost vessel. Oh, okay. Scrapping the kiss from Rosa salvaging a few pieces is always an option. Recover about 59% of lost assets. Uh... Let me think about this. Okay. Right. <laughs> For now, we just need to buy some guns. Rusted deck gun, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Let's go into this, put some guns on. so that we can get new stuff and defend ourselves. And then let's think about how how we're going to get 600 money to get our boat back. Um, oh wait, hang on. Can I sell stuff to you? Like the, the, the truck bots that I've already, I've already sell some cargo items. I can! Maybe. Sell some cargo items? I, uh, apparently not. Okay, maybe I sell fish to the fish inspiration guy. As well as giving him new fish. 
don't know yet. We'll find out. I'll grab a fish from here while we're here, though. Try to scrape some of these. That was my thinking, but I was like, well, we're over here. We'll see if this guy buys fish. <laughs> <You're pat> <laughs> Stop the boat! I need to fish! I love this guy. It's a lively one! It's a lively one! Ah, it's another orange one. Not sure. Okay, off we go. Need to do as fast as the winds may take us, which is not very fast. These guns have slightly longer range than my chaser gun did. Which I'm gonna need to actually get that thing. Ah, oh, map fragments. <laughs> Right town K. The Skull Clan have built a shrine here. Okay. Um, hmm. More woods. Okay. We're up to 120 wood again. Which is not loads. But, it's a good start. It's one-sixth of the way to getting back our ship. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just have to sort of sail around a bit. Explore some of the new places we've unlocked. Hi guys! Uh, Angler Angler. Hi! Hand over my fish! Take our fish! Phenomenal, okay. So yeah, just just selling fish, good way to get money back. Let's find a less dangerous looking new place. Oh, we can go back and um We can go back and and do this camera spot. Because we've got a camera now. And then maybe we'll go and try that race at Warm Sun K. I wonder what happens if your last chip sinks. It's good to know that having like a fleet is a good backup. Oops, not that button. Not that button either. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, it's good to know that having a a fleet is like a, a fail-safe option. But I wonder what happens if the last chip in your fleet sinks. Do you get a game over? Do you revert save? Do I, have I even saved at any point? I have not saved at any point. There doesn't seem to be a manual save option. Alright. Go fishing because we uh, need it. What I'm not entirely clear about is, is how important having multiple crew per ship is. Yuck fish. Where's the photo ship? Where's the photo ship? On the other side of the island. Looks like there might be some crates around over there as well. But they might be cannon crates instead of harpoon crates. Because we haven't we haven't yet figured out how to park a boat and go ashore. 
<laughs> I guess, in this society. Round. Round. Well, not that close. Excuse us to sailors, got a moment. Yeah, okay, we've, we've had this. Yeah. Uh. Yes, but others will be your best photo faces. Let's get to it. Take a picture. Hey, this is a great shot! If I knew how to say thanks, I'd do it right now! Instead, take the spooky thing we found! Made my partner super forgetful anyway. Life was a shadowy, neglectful room. One. Big. Neglectful room. Okay, we've got some more ancient junk! That's great news! And that is... A cannibal chest on the other side there. Which is also good news. Gonna get some cash! Found a map fragment. Yeah, I know that. Oh, that doesn't look good. Brightsway Bay has a has a king skull on it. Okay. Good to know. Can we uh can we get some forward motion, on, guys? Can I shoot this clam? Oh, I can shoot the clam. Hang on. What happens when I shoot the clown? Oh, went a little bit past it, I have to slowly row backwards. Ships were never designed to go backwards! Oh, it's giving us a pearl! I guess that's something we also sell for money, probably? Interesting. Another map fragment. Gullblown Bay. It's a fun target shooting range. That's good. That'll help me get better at shooting with these cannons. Um. It's quite fun. There's a lot to do. I'm I'm now very nervous about the combat having died once. Uh Okay, what have we got? I'm assuming it's probably up there, but let's it looks like there's a little island here. Let's go have a look at the little islands. Then we'll have a look at the big island. This big island's got crates on it, which we want, and clams, which we now know we can harvest with pearls. Ahoy there! Don't tell anyone. Turns out I don't know how to sail. I crashed my new boat almost immediately. <laughs> can I trouble you to take a picture of my sad situation so my friends can find me? Of course you can. I... The, um... The controls for the photo modes aren't phenomenal. What a relief! I guess we won't be needing this anymore. Why don't you have it? A rusted dual gun. Oh, well. Dual barreled gun ought to be better than one, right? This one's not in the best condition. I guess we'll stick it on the left hand side. 
like a double barrel gun though. Alright, and it's another picture for, for Photo Boy. We'll grab a fish, then some crates, then do some target practice. Whee! Oh, it's the orange one again. Hello. And no matter where I go, I always appear to be sailing into the wind. It's funny how that works. Somewhere. Ah, it's under the water. No, come back, clam. Ah. Got it. Okay, amazing. Do I actually have to be? I have to be closer to it than this to get. I have to go back to get the pearl. Oh no. Too far away. Oh, I don't even feel like I actually killed that, but sure. Come back here, you. Come back here. I can't shoot it while it's in the water, unfortunately. Get back here! Amazing. Right. I guess we're going back around the island to pick up that one pole. Uh, which is fine. Lots of harpoonable stuff. Beach ourselves. Beaching ourselves was bad last time. Luckily, nothing is too big in this game. Nothing's too far away, nothing takes too long to kind of travel. in this that little shallow bit there. Um, I assume this is where we're going? There seems to be... Oh, I guess this is the, the start of the shooting range. <laughs> Quick stop for fishing. Another yuckfish. Okay. It's a little tricky to kind of steer while also... Oh, we're, we're, at, we're looking at the wrong side, which doesn't help. Oh, okay, so the double barrel doesn't fire two at once. It just has, like, a, basically a shorter reload time. <laughs> Cut it out before it blows the baggy wrinkle from your boat. Circle up, let's sort out turns. Interesting. Okay. 
see something sighted. Noted. Thanks, that's really helpful. Okay, so he doesn't like us shooting his target. I know I can interact, but I want to be facing the right way in case this is like the timed thing. I don't want to miss around turning my boat around after it's already started. It's hard enough getting a boat going. Alright, blast your scuppers, your barnacle bitten landlubbers. Excuse me, of the two of us, one of us is on land here and it's not me. I got cannon prints all over me course. Help yourselves to a skimpy siesta while I rejig us the darned wigglers. Okay. Howdy, howdy, howdy. You all look like the fine upstanding type what remember the Mallow Dog. Where's the dodge shooter at your service? It's a very unfortunate surname to have, dodge shooter. Fastest cannoneer west of the nitty gritty. And manatee herder extraordinaire. Scout of brass tacks. The old fancy run at me target shooting course. It is quite the moustache, you're right. And you would know, Gloves Mustachio. Um, blow me mind, I'll make it worth your while. What say ya? Do the bloods of mully headed mavericks flow through y'all? How does it work? Simple as a snug boat in sloop. As soon as I start my timepiece, blast all the tugs and smithereens. Kapow. Blammo. Pull it off and I'll figure something really nice for you to carry off. Um, what's your deal? Curious about yours truly? Shucks. Fetch me a mouthpiece and settle on in. Plenty of vehicles to go around. Uh... You're a real unique individual. Heart of Paladin had the noble impression of vanity herding. It's a right proud heritage. Moving the beauty of Seek House from place to place. Rain and cold and dark of night. Nothing like having your seat in the saddle and the open waves before you. You all come back now if you feel like changing your vocation. My bother? The love of a perfect shot. You all felt it true. Raise those cans with your hearts, not your hands. Glory in Marksmanship goes way back, friends. I knew a shooter who could snip a whisker clean off a gapfish. Gapfish whiskers aren't like mammal whiskers. They're like an important part of their body. You can't just go around shooting them off. Ain't no taradiddles here. Keep after it. Your deeds may be remembered true. I was born to this life. Clearly your Wesley, Wesley Dud shooter ain't of the first water, but I made do. Shooting iron in my wee chubby digits, even as a babe. Done the fair share of rambling and wrestling over the years. Now here I sit, passed on my love of the craft. Level those cannons, make an old sea cow poke prideful. Put me in, coach. Let me add on. Alright. Steal your nerves. Buck your barnacles. Now wait me signal. Three, two, one, go. Ugh, oh, my sails are in completely the wrong place. What a disaster. Okay. This is going phenomenally poorly, but I, I pretty much couldn't have missed that one. Uh... Okay. Uh... I need to get three more targets. The wind is being a right pain, as they say in the trades. Like seriously, we're barely even moving here. Yeah. Okay, we've got 
got one more target, but it's quite far away. Any faster? Oh, I got it! Ding, ding, ding! You ding, dang, done it! To the victorious, go the spoils! Oh, that's a lot of wood and a polished chase gun. The moose now, you know. Gotta set them all up. Set all them bad boys up again. Sweet. Okay, a chase gun, you say. Extended barrel and stable housing. This gun is capable of housing some targets. Well, I know it's, a, it's supposed to be a chase gun, but for now it's going there. Oh, yeah, look, it's got long range. Nice. Alright. Uh. Have we been to Orsus yet? I don't seem to be able to fast travel there for some reason. So I guess we're we're setting down a marker and going the old fashioned way. Alright, we've gotta sail around this first though. Come on, boat. Come on, boat. You can do it. There we go. It's phenomenal how the wind is always coming from the place I'm trying to go. Oh, now we can fast travel. I don't know why we couldn't before. Okay, we nearly have enough money to get our original ship back. Um. We seem to have spawned in quite the strange location. We fast travelled to it from the north west and ended up <laughs> at the south. Don't quite know how that worked. Okay, somewhere around this just does look like empty sea. But apparently there's a ship right here somewhere. Also not going very fast at all. There's some fishies over here though. I'll stop for those. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> I feel like saying look out below kind of defeats the point. Like, what if they do look out? Then they won't fight your line, will they? Okay, I'm starting to suspect that all the fish we've caught so far are the very, very common ones. Not necessarily a surprise. Is there anything in 
interesting about the shipwreck? Uh, yes. It hurts if you crash into it. <laughs> and we're now also stuck. All it says is this location is totally unexplored. We might find anything here. And it's like, yes, we found rubbish. Oh, and fish. We found fish. <laughs> Wee! Where have I? Ooh! An interesting. Vast guy. Mean spirited and fast moving little buggers. Tastes like sugar house plants. Haha! <laughs> ah. Well, definitely something I've found here for then. No! Oh, I thought we were gonna miss that. The fish called to me. This looks new as well. Uh, Zordu Jaw. Uh, BB Hopper says, just finished recording my first YouTube video in over a year long. Ooh, interesting. What's it about? Uh, because of a long amount of time spent trapped in an alternate dimension, this fish is often unable to probably remember the chorus to its second favorite song. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's quite the description. My goodness. Devlog video. Uh, oh yes, you're you're making a game that you're trying to get ready in like the next however many weeks? I seem to recall. Also is that something? Wait, this isn't the shipwreck that I'm aiming for. This is a different shipwreck. There's a lot of shipwrecks here. That's quite concerning. One shipwreck could be considered unfortunate. Three shipwrecks, all in a line, a line which I am now sailing along, seems... ominous. <laughs> the wind changes a lot in this game. Like a lot, a lot. I'm used to something more like Sea of Thieves, where the wind changes every you know hour or half hour or something. And again, there's not really anything here exactly, but there are fish, so fish we will take. <laughs> That's right, I'm fishing. Whee! Another pretty fish! Hello! Cheshire out. This odd fish appears to have a permanent grin. Reports indicate that it can disappear and reappear whenever it likes. Right, well I think with all these new fish, we probably have uh, enough materials to go back and salvage our first ship. <laughs> I hope we get the crew back as well. I'm going to feel real bad if, if, if Goose is actually dead dead. How much crew can you get? Um, it varies from ship to ship. I don't know what the, the maximum in the boat is, but like this boat has a max crew of four. Our previous boat I think had a max crew of three. I want to go to this, but there's this guy who's a little question mark has just popped up ahead of me. He might be a new crew. He does sort of look like he's drowning. Got room for another sailor? I should think so, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's just swing on around. Hi! 
Stop the boat, I need to fish. I actually need, I need to sell my fish before I can go and reclaim the other thing, can't I? Oh. Chest. It's another fish, we caught something. More ancient junk. Look. A hard turn to the... No, wait, what? Hard turn to the... I was going more the right way than I realised anyway, never mind. Oh, this is another fishing spot, I didn't even realise. Okay, this is literally your first thing to do on this boat, is you're going to try and catch this fish. Don't let me down. Ooh! You did not let me down, a pterodon! The lustrous fish was formed from the bowels of a massive blob-like hive mind, made of pink bubbles and oyster sauce. Philosophy major. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I love it. Alright, full speed ahead to the Angler Angler Emporium, and then full speed behind to uh to go get our buddies back. Who we who we suck. And then now that we have like way more cannons, we'll see if we can take on that pirate ship again. Hey guys! Angler Anchor Gloves! Kind of my fish. We've got a specific fish. Zordy Jaw gives us this sort of light lilac, maybe? Uh, burp, burp. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I really hope I got the colours for those. Uh, Angler Angler Snaps, hello! And over my photo fill! What's this? I ain't near peeped this before! I can feel inspiration coursing! And ta-da! Peep upon the masterwork! Oh, a heart! I love it. Oh. What else you bring on that photo fill? Real beauty of a snap! Peep the genteel composition of that marble. My inspiration is coming out hot. Ooh, a lovely anchor. Amazing. Here's a fresh photo film. Talk to someone else. Okay, did I get new colours from those other other fish? Okay, I did get other new colours. That's good. Fantastic. I'm kind of quite happy with the, the colours that I have, to be honest. Alright. Let's set sail for the ship-shaped shop. If and only if you can pronounce the ship-shaped shop. Accumulated quite a few wood in our travels. It might be time to go visit a merchant. That's exactly where I was going! Gonna rescue our friends. They're gonna live. They're... Oh, there's another crate on this beach. Hello. I'll have that while we're going fast. Jack says, try saying ship shape shop five times fast. Oh no. Uh, nope, not that button. Nope. Ah! Oh. Back pedal. Back pedal. Oh, I feel like we backpedal faster now than we did last time. Maybe it's because we've got more crew to backpedal with. Uh, I 
should probably also fix up this ship. Hard about to left, right, whichever one it is, port, starboard, one of them. <laughs> Hard about to one of the directions. Some very helpful captaining there. Okay, okay. And now we're just gonna lazily go into the wind. That's all we've got. I wonder if it's faster to like... To go off a little bit and then zigzag. I think that's what real ships do. I think they zigzag. Or real sailboats, I should say. Because because most modern real ships have an engine. Um, oh, we have a space envy out in this. I don't know, I have a drunk starboard. <laughs> ah, hello there. We've obtained all the hottest deals. Hi. It is Krog's Day, the first day of Orsout. In the observance, I've inflicted mortal damage to my prices. The officer is standing 10% off. I have precisely what you're looking for. Let us make a deal. Oh, that's fantastic. Repair. Comes a mere trifle of 615. It's all inclusive recovery package. It covers repairs, equipment retrieval, and full crew rehabilitation. Could we unwreck that wreck? Absolutely. Soon it'll be as if you'd never callously allowed it to be destroyed in the first place! <laughs> good, good as new. That was a pleasant business exchange we just had. Uh, alright. Let's talk about upgrades. What do you got? Regular deck guns. Okay. Uh, what about a new boat map? Oh, sell some cargo items? I can sell these. These pearls and this black pearl. The deep dark colors contain this pearl almost distract you from how much it might be worth. Golden sand for teeth color. Besides looking nice, it might fetch a nice price. Phenomenal. My rates are mad, I should be institutionalized. Uh, let's build a new boat. What options do we have? We can have another panda. Or we can have a pelican. A larger cat rig with room for jibs, giving it an edge upwind. The guns on all sides can't be blindsided, it's not especially strong in any one direction. However, if I bought this, I wouldn't be able to actually give it any guns. So I guess we're gonna save it for the now. No returns, refunds, or exchanges. Alright. Let's get a fleet management. Poison. Repair. Kiss from a rose. Uh, doesn't need repair. Set orders escort. Done. Okay. Oh! Uh, that's the repair happening. Okay. Let's go... Take down these pirates. That was a little bling, but I didn't see what was blinging. Where were the pirates? I think they're up here in Gull Coral Lands, I think. Uh, BPD Hotbite asks if anyone here likes Donner Kebabs. I am not that fond of Donner Kebabs. I mean, I wasn't even before I was veggie, and obviously now I'm veggie, so, uh... Yeah, I I've spe spent one too many late nights, uh, out, out, out on the town with people who've decided that a Donner Kebab is a great thing to pick up on their way home. Sprug Hit Gobber. Hello, Sprug Hit Gobber. Yay! Yay! Arr. Space Envy Artemis says these be a fantastic vegan kebab shop in my town. They close down. Alright. Let's engage.
We missed. Okay, we're getting much more hits off now. It, it helps that they're not firing back, if I'm honest. <laughs> That's really useful of them, to not fire back. Oh, they're coming about. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! I think our, our other boat got, got damaged quite badly. Turn! Oh, we're being pushed by our other boat! It's crashed into us! Okay, I think they're sunk. They've got no health left. Amazing. Can we pick them up? Oh god, are they gonna drown? Are they just drowning? Oh god, we killed them! I mean, I suppose they were pirates. Uh, oh, also, hey Shesko, well, did I say hey Shesko already? Don't tell Dizzy I've been here for an hour, I'm lucky. Lurking is allowed! There is no shame or harm in lurking. Check out what we dredged up. Ancient junk! Yay! Alright. Uh, let's go to the fleet management. Repair my boat. That boat apparently doesn't repair. Alright. Now, where was the other pirate ship? Oh, there's a friendly boat over there, apparently. Let's go say hi to a friendly boat. Uh, Shaskor screeches and scurries off like a bug hiding under a rock that has been lifted. Oh no! Oh, there seems to be quite a few. Not before massed by Jeep as a ship. Hello there. Mango under Drexton. Hello. I've got to deliver this cargo, but I can spare a minute. Uh, we'll buy some stuff from you. Barrel of of salt. Lumber. Food barrels. Best eaten without the barrel or sold to your local merchant. I don't really know what these do. We'll take the lot. We'll take one of each. We've got some things to sell. Ah, okay. So we can sell all those things back to you. We don't want to do that. I guess maybe we can make a, a profit from these if we sell them to the right people. Anyway, there seems to be another another boat here. Hi, who are you guys? Captain Oddbister, your fleet is looking a little thin. I'll join for the right price. Oh, 3,000. No, we don't have that. Best of luck to you too, mate. It would have been nice to have you along for the ride, but I can understand. Anyway, let's do some fishing. Where's our escort ship? Oh, it's over there. It's, it's coming. Just a little slower than us. I suppose it is like our starting boat. Oh, they've got like they've got the heart icon on their flag. Ooh, a Monty fish. Impressively stinky in the best possible way. That's what the stank pirates are trying to steal. <laughs> like a wheel of old cheese or the shoes of an unaccomplished marathon runner. <laughs> Amazing. Map fragment and marks the location of something nearby. Oh, let's not crash if we can at all help it. Alright. Oh, the 
see its way beaches. Oh, I love that. I so I, I love that the, in the procedural world there's still like. No, uh, I I love that it 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 still feels like there's sort of a a, a progression. Oh, we can't go over that way. We have to turn around. Oh, but maybe we can speak to these guys. Hi! Ahoy there, got room for another sailor! A hundred planks and I'm yours. Consider yourself hired. I appreciate the up and all. Looks like your vessel's pretty well full up. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can manage this. Fleet management. My boat. Poison. Manage crew. Uh, Kelso T Gamba. You can go to the other boat. Kiss from a rose. You can have Kelso. There we go. Hello. So you're fired. So what are the rest of you? Oh, you're you. Know, there's lots of crew here. Okay. We don't need more sailors right now. I see, okay. Well, we'll uh, turn around on walls so that we don't crash into anything. This is, this is great. I really love this game so far. This is really wonderful. Okay, I think these are the bad guys that we have to kill. No, your face is great, Shaka. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a pretty fish down there! I hope we can catch one of these guys! Unless that's actually a type of fish we've already caught, in which case, shut up, Izzy. Um, that is a type of fish we've already caught. It is a pretty fish, though! It's the Midas Kingfish! One last fish, and then we're going to go engage. Adian Funfigle. Uh oh, I think I think the the love heart. I can't see the bobber. Um, I think the love heart boat just crashed into the into the rocks behind us there. Oh, there's quite a few love heart sailing boats actually. All right, gang. Party time. Weigh anchor and hoist the mizzen. I'll hoist your mizzen. Oh, this is like a boss level ship. Look how much health they have. Luckily, they're all parked up. Well, that was a pretty powerful strategy. Um, <laughs> just park behind them. We've picked up a pirate! See, that's what I was hoping to do with the other pirate. I don't think we picked up all of the pirates, but we've picked up a pirate. Okay, so is this place now pirate free? Yes, I think it is. Okay, I guess we have to go and speak to the lighthouse people? Or maybe him, I'm not sure. Either way, we'll do, we'll, we'll do the lighthouse first, and we'll try and do this fishing. That's not fishing, that's just the wake around my other boat. I'm a number two. Uh, oh, and Artemis is redeemed to hydrate. Thank you so much for that. I'm just going to have to mute while I do that. Is 
because you all don't want the, uh, the sort of the chugging noises of me trying to... Oh, there's, there's the, the shell. Oh, we're just out of range. Oh! Oh no! Oh no, come back! That's gone underwater again, has not it? Blast! Uh, and Shaka is asking for a dino fact. Um, Shaka, do you have any any requests specifically for your dino facts? Oh goodness gracious, my ears have gone as well while I was swallowing. Come on, get wrecked, idiots! There we go. Welcome, mortals. Ahem. I mean, my fellow mortals. How might I be of service to you? I think so, whatever I want. Um. Alright, well, did you know that. Uh, here's, your, here's your bit of dinosaur misinformation for the day. You can you can go and give this to anyone you like. Uh, did you know that uh, the collective noun for a group of ankylosaurs uh, is a rumble? There we are. You can tell that to anyone, and they'll say, wow, I didn't know that. And you can say, that's because it's not true, it's made up. <laughs> uh, how might I be of service to you on this fine evening? I sense a keen eye for discovery. There are whispers of a powerful artifact in the hands of the Skull Clan. Seek out their shrine, retrieve what the Skull Clan has stolen. Okay, we have to go to Bright Crown... Bright Crown Cave. Artemis says all collective nouns are made up. That's true! Most of them sort of get by on consensus value. Uh, found some old time stuff. Got a new item for you. Oh, we have a spare gun! Oh, I totally could have bought that other boat. I put exactly one gun on it. Um, quite fine. Happy hand over some lemonade. It is a wing nut? No, it's a, a, be a belt. Belly flash. When sunlight was caught at the proper angle, these belts would blast opponents with a debilitating ray of light! <laughs> Otto says, it sounds right here so we can build a consensus in your chat. But then if you do that, it's not misinformation! And I have to come up with another fake dinosaur fact! <laughs> well, Jennifer, you can't go underwater. Take this! Nice. This looks like a rubber chicken. It is a rubber chicken! Kluckenspiel! When chickens suffered from egg production crippling insomnia, farmers would often serenade the coop with the soothing sounds of this elegant instrument. <laughs> I love it. I love this. I'll happily hand over some lemonade. What say you? I, I tell you what else. Rather than improvising them on the spot, I really need to just write down a list of fake dino facts so that I have some prepared. I also might need to write down the list of real dino facts so that I have some prepared. Because uh, I always end up being, like, I put myself on the spot and it's like, what the hell is this? Bleeper, once used in ancient courts and parliaments to call attention to one's statements, louder and more elaborate shapes took precedence over little one, lesser ones. Um, but yeah, I... Because it, it's always like a panic when someone does the redeem. I should prepare so I don't accidentally tell a true dino fact like the rumble thing. <laughs> you have yet this going on to the south of here. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. The lighthouse will show the way. It will remain lit until sunrise. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Keep your eyes peeled. I suppose we can... I suppose the professor can wait. Oh, I missed. Got him that time though, didn't I? Uh, where's the lighthouse pointing? Southish. <laughs> Southish. 
This is this is selfish. Uh, did I repair? Oh, I guess maybe we didn't take any damage. <laughs> maybe that took a slight amount of damage. Oh, is it that? That looks like an interesting thing. Let's have a look see at it. Unless this is the race. Now at Deep Blue. This is Warm Sun K, which we have already found. But I mean, we're so now, we're now so far beyond the lighthouse that it's a bit difficult to to say. Like, you know, it's just. Somewhere to the south. That could be almost anywhere. Okay, well, look, we'll have a zoom in at Warm Sun K. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a lot going on. Have a look at the island, and then we'll have. I'm guessing that boat is the one that wants a race. I wonder if it's the kind of race where we're allowed to just sink the other boat. Because <laughs> I'm guessing I won't win any races otherwise. That being said, maybe this is a fast boat. I really don't know. All I know is it's faster than my other boat. I keep leaving it behind in my dust. Right, he's just burrowed underneath the, the waves, under the under the sand. Come on, pop your head back up. There's any more crates? Yes. There's one more crate over here. Let's go blow this up, then we'll see if that does its race. Oh, that was a mess. Did we get the pearl? I think we got the pearl! Oh gosh! We ran the grounds. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Someone's just pushing us off with an oar. Thanks. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> so it's better than asking for a tow. Alright, do a quick little about tow. And full sails. Try to crash less in future. Oh, look at the pretty jellies! They glow in the dark! I love it. I love them. My guess is we want to probably come at this guy from behind so that we can be pointing <laughs> the same way as him. 
That's what she says, Moonlight Jellies. True. See up fish? It's a fish. Oh, what's that? Zimothy Rugenda. He's got a red peck spot. As though he were a pirate. He ain't got what it takes. Yeah, I said it. Alright, well, if you say so. Hawk, a foul interloper. Approacheth if thy dareth. Well, I'm pretty good at dareth. Mwahaha! You're not looking at me, you fools! Look upon thy doom, for I am the dread pirate, Zimothy Rugdugger. Yay! Woo! Captain of the fastest ship in all the deep room. The world renowned uncontested racing vessel. The Deep Six. Yeah, you tell him, Zim. We will be your undoing! Mwahaha! Yeah! Ready to get undone? Or some other such unpleasantness? Nice to meet you. Did you hear that, Zim? I certainly did not allow such frivolity to enter my ear holes. Could you imagine if I had? Dexter! Yes, Cam. These yellow-bellied wretches have a need for speed in their eyes, do they not? Mm. A bit difficult to say from this distance. If we could... Silence! Of course they have. It's agreed. Well, certainly your pompous and unprompted act of aggression. With a race for the ages! Oh no, not again! Let's establish some ground rules first. Of course! You see? It's fairly straightforward. Wahaha! Only cowards rely on things like rules. Never mind the captain. This gets carried away. But there's a finish line. Whoever reaches it first, they're the winner. Just like every race ever. What a waste of breath. Oh, we have to call them weirdos. We, sh we shall forsooth which weirdo is the truly weirdoest at the finish line. Dexter. Sally by captain. Mark it. Of course, here it is. We're we'll racing to this location today. Okay. Checkpoints and then the ends. Exactly what we sort of expected. The game is afoot, as they say. Wait, do I have to. Start the countdown. Three, two, one, begin! Do I have to mark the, the waypoints myself? Okay, the first one is straightforward, which is good. Sailing in a straight line, it's very difficult for me to mess up. We also seem to be winning. I'm hoping that my, my, my escort ship can, like, bump into him a bit and run interference. How will I know when I've got the waypoint? Do I just have to go around the outside of it? Or do I have to cross the line? What's the what's the score? Let's go. We are ahead. Oh, he's got a racing flag for his sail. That's great. I love that. We get a little bit of a turn off. The wind is changing. That's all well and good. Right, and we can, we can, we basically want to cut the corner almost as much as we can. As long as we don't slow down too much, though. Um, okay, that's our ship. That's fine. Where's the next waypoint? Hmm. 
Need another sailor? Um, hi. I'll, I'll quickly, I'll quickly go into fleet management. Um, Aiden Funfigle, can you go below deck? Just a sec. Hi! You sailor! Ahoy there! Alright, let's see if we can do the zigzag thing. Maybe the wind will just change. You never know. Oh no, oh god, I know! Oh no, this is not the time for fishing! How do I stop fishing? Oh god! Oh god! Ah! <laughs> Disaster! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He's gonna beat me! He's gonna beat me! Because I pushed the, the go fishing button! Oh god, we're in the lead, Captain! I know they're in the lead! Wait, why is he saying we're in the lead, Captain? He is the Captain! Oh no! Oh no, I don't think I can beat him! Oh gosh! I don't think I got this! I think he's got me because I, I pushed the space button wrong! <laughs> ah! Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? God damn it! Ah, we were born to sail. Life is good at the top. <clears throat> you say so, Captain? Do you care for a rematch? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Wahaha. <laughs> it's a pointless endeavor. Futile gesture that I swallow away like a mere housefly. At the finish line, Dexter! Standing by, Captain! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Game is afoot. Do, do, do. Three, two, one, begin! Oh, he's got a much better start this time. He's got a much better start this time. I'll just shoot him. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe I lost because I stopped to go fishing! <laughs> what a disaster. What an absolute disaster. Wind's changing. The wind changes a lot in this game, my god. We're now going pretty down. We're not stopping for fishing this time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the wind's changing again, which is good. I assume at full sail we're probably faster? That's where we picked up our latest sailor, which didn't slow us down. 
And up here is where we did fishing, which did slow us down. A mistake we won't be repeating. Will we, Dizzy? Will we? Oh, I hear sails. Okay, that's, that's my point. He's allowed to have sails. He doesn't worry me. The uh, speed at which I'm travelling currently does worry me. Gonna zigzag. Try and get a bit more wind. I'm afraid the added speed helps us more. Oh, well, the wind will change. Amazing. I was gonna say it will help us more than the the going the wrong way will slow us down. It doesn't matter anymore. It's a straight line. I mean, even my little ship seems to be leaving him in the dust, so maybe we didn't need the big ship for this. Uh, Yeehaw! Cheats! Scallywags! I've never seen such tomfoolery in all my days! Never mind all that. Here are your winnings, fair and square. This crew is undefeated, you hear me? Undefeated. Oh, a new vessel blueprint. Be best if you clear out. Heathens! You'll rue the day you cross the fearless crew of the Deep Six. We are now mortal racing enemies! Cower in fear! Go forth and cower in fear when the Deep Six is about. We will race you to the very end of the Deep Blue. Hi, the very end. Well, thanks for the race. It was lovely. Dex! No fraternising with the enemy. Scowl at them and let's away. Hi, Captain. Scowl. Phenomenal. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, we did wonderful this time. Uh, we've got a new ship blueprint, which is exciting. We probably have the funds to add new ship to our fleet. But let's... Let's go talk to... See what he actually wants us to do. Because I've sort of slightly lost track of what, what we're supposed to be doing with this guy. Because there's so much side stuff to do. But it's good that there is so much side stuff to do. I'm really having a lot of fun with this game. This is great. <laughs> if Sea of Thieves was more like this, it would be a better game. Hi there, Slowpoke. Excuse you, I just ran a, won, ran, won a race. I've worked with faster sea slugs. Why have you been working with sea slugs? I'm glad, Gloves. You got the lemonade. Get Zooks. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. Um, how did you not see that lighthouse change colour? I don't think I saw the lighthouse change colour. Indubitably. Let the juices of innovation flow freely. Oh, we've got a tech tree! Okay, so we've got the deck gun. We can research the harpoon gun. Research design this tool first to grab a hold of distant items, capture enemy vessels. I want to capture an enemy vessel. Excellent work. We'll just add a super responsible amount of luminate to the furnace and... Boom! We've just developed the plans for a harpoon gun. Take that technological marvel to any ship shape shop. They'll hook you up. Let's just say those invertebrates owe me a favour. Tell them Doc Zissu sent me. Remember to take blueprints to any ship shape shop. Our orbits of insects once again. Ah, and yes, of course we have actually quite a lot of luminate, don't we? So what can we get? Arbalan. Light and a gun still dish out damage. Light armor plating. Move slower, have plus 20 armor. Interesting. Swivel gun. Less firepower, more flexibility. Chase gun. 
so it has a much worse angle, but a bit better range, and slightly lower DPS. Okay, let's let's spec into armor plate. Hold on to something. One blueprint. Use it in good health. Scrap fabric. Hang every last scrap of fabric on the moss. Might be awkward with your trousers fluffing around up there, but hey, you're at sea. Okay, interesting. Yeah, just total sail area sounds good. Boom shakalaka. One blueprint for a brand trespack new scrap fabric. Okay. Now what else have we got? Whip cracker. They just crack it without hitting anyone, but it still motivates the crew. Or ram. Halves collision damage and gives us extra ramming damage. Well. I'm not a good enough pilot to not have that. Use it in good health. Knuckle dusters! <laughs> when he gets a cameo in this is boom. You're not wrong! Brass knuckles. The packaging on these metal punch gloves promises to make any sailor's punch hit exactly 25% harder. We have. You make them board? We have crew attack strength? <laughs> I suppose that's how you capture enemy vessels. Eureka! And that's why you need more crew. I see. Okay. Use it in good health. And I suppose, yeah, let's get the whip crack on our rabbit. Boom! Use it in good health. Okay. What's this? Is this a rod upgrade? No, golden ores. Somehow makes them go a lot faster. Ah, interesting. Well, you'll need to spend woods to assemble your boat upgrades. Okay, I guess we'll be upgrading our boats instead of maybe buying them. Let's grab some fish while we're here. We can also see if we can sell those barrels, what we picked up and bought. Oh, I thought that was a fishing spot, but apparently not. Never mind. Is this a fishing spot? Yeah, this is a fishing spot. Okay, weird. <laughs> Yoink some fish, head back. Oh. <clears throat> oh, that destroys the spot. You are You great buffoon disease. Alright, we'll take this fish instead and then we'll head back. <laughs> One more fish ahead of us, but then we'll head back. I wonder if the ores are ever faster. Because presumably the ores don't rely on wind speed. So maybe when you're going downwind and you've got the ore upgrades, maybe they're better? I don't know. Got another Monty fish. Okay. Let's go sail down to Tidesway Point. We'll sell some fish. I don't think we took any new photos. Um, we'll sell some fish. We will get the upgrades and then we'll see about maybe getting a new boat if we have the room. Because we do have a single gun. In our, in our inventory. Oh, the weather is... Interesting. Currently. 
looks like a sandstone. Right, hey guys! Alright, Pangaranga gloves. Uh, hand over my fish. Take our fish. Talk to somebody else. Uh, snapped. Hand over my photo film. Not a single shot! Okay. Uh, talk to someone else. Talk to Haram! Hello! Right. What the, what are the new colours we got? Nothing that that blows me away. That's fine. All right. To the ship shape shop. So who are these guys over here? They're gone, whoever they were. We've got to avoid hitting the islands, that's quite important. Oh wait, we can harpoon stuff off- no we can't harpoon stuff, we haven't bought the harpoon yet. Right. What fish. <laughs> I like that you can just stop on the spot for a fish. have there? A blueprint for a harpoon gun. Seems that Doc Zisso invents more than just mechanical suits for business slugs these days. I'll happy, happily make this happen for you, my customer. Amazing! You're contractually required to love that new upgrade smell. You have more blueprints, I'm all ears. Can't resist a ship blueprint that's hot off the press. Step into my office! Let's go low down on the ground. I don't think I've ever left the ship, to be honest. More blueprints. An upgrade blueprint to discuss. My head bulb fluid boils with a desire to stock innovative items. <laughs> okay. Right. Phenomenal. Uh. Right. Well, what did that give me? Did that give me new stuff in my cargo? Yes. Equip. Okay, I guess I just... Ah, I can only have one mod, I guess? Okay, I see, gotcha. So is this also a mod? Yeah, okay, I see. Alright, well we'll have the, uh, we'll have the sails for now. Um... I guess how do I how do I Oh Oh no Oh no I've hop I've harpooned us <laughs> I, I, 
I'll pin this one to that. Um, does that mean we can't speak to him anymore? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, we took damage as well. Alright, we're gonna go out and speak to this guy and hopefully he'll have fixed his thing by the time we come back so we can speak to him again. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, I broke it! Oh no! Uh, oh, hang on, wait. I need to, uh. I need to, to fleet management. Poison. Manage crew. Uh, Pip Singleton. You can go below deck. Oh my god, we're gonna have so many spare people. Hi. Yar. <laughs> All right, I would love a new boat. Piece. Do you think you can do that for me? I'm sorry for harpooning you. Fantastic. Let's build a new boat. Alright, what's the new... I think it's this. This is the new... What? Oh, maybe it's the... No, it's the... it must be the panache. Single latine sail makes it fairly... No, we've seen this one. What was the new boat then? Maybe it was the, the azalea? Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Either way, uh... So this is plus speed for less everything else. I think let's just have another panda, really. Apparently the ship we've got is slow moving for its size. It doesn't feel slow moving for its size. But like, the others have less HP. I suppose their weight capacity is less important. Um... Okay, well, we'll, we'll try some other things. We'll have a panache. <laughs> that model is perfect for you. Alright. Uh... Sell some cargo items. Oh yeah, we are making a slight profit. Yes. Phenomenal. <laughs> I've given you an extra special deal. Uh, let's talk boat upgrades. My <laughs> deals are so good, I hate them. All right. Do you have any better guns? No, you only have deck guns. That's fine. I'll take. I think I've got three slots. Three on the other boat. You really leveled up just now. Sure, alright. Oh, I'm, I'm now in charge of the new boat. Hang on. Fleet management. Uh, Panache. Managed crew. Who the hell is this guy? Who the hell is Relnorton Cactus? Where did you come from? <laughs> Okay, I guess it just a appears with a new with a with a new captain. So so we need actually need another boat <laughs> for our for our other guy. That's fine. Um, right, uh, I do need to go and stick guns on this boy. Uh, we don't have a forward gun. That's fine. We'll stick this one there. There we go. And I guess you can have the ram. Sure. 
sure. Wonderful. Okay. Now let's go back to. Oh, we need to. We need to rename it. We've only got ten minutes left, so I guess this is like the last thing we're gonna do, pretty much. Uh. What are we going to call you? You came with an unexpected captain, you're called the Panache. What's special about you? Um, well, we think you came from a blueprint, so you're going to be... I'm blue. There we go. <laughs> Head up. Let's see if we can go back and I wanted to fast travel. Let's see if we can go back and fast travel. And grab that strange rock. This is a really fun fun game to play. Um see the rock on the map, so I guess we just sort of go forward with our little fleet. Until we see it. Might be because we're actually not technically within the area yet. There we go, there's the See, I don't feel like our boat isn't very fast. We're faster than the other two boats I own. Just realized we've harpooned ourselves to the rock again. It's fine, we had a little bump. We had a little bump. We clipped very slightly through the thing. It's fine. I don't really know. Once we, once I've harpooned something, I don't know how to to unharpoon from it. This uh, definitely seems like it's not it's not working for us. I don't know if our harpoon can physically reach it. There was, I briefly got a prompt to inspect as we came towards it, but it didn't seem to do anything. It just sort of vanished straight away. I might need to, to leave the area and come back to, to re-get re, re that prompt. Let's 
gloss splash, there are no visible ears on either side of its head, which makes sense because it's a fish. Right, let's quickly fast travel away and then fast travel back. And then we'll pretend like it never happened. Maybe I was coming in too fast. Oh, there's a boat right now. Interesting. Not one of ours, either. Skull Clan of Four Skipper. Huh. Okay, maybe we were supposed to wait for this to happen. Seriously, though, is this thing dangerous? Oi! You, you lot, in the ridiculous panda. How rude. Come to Sandy Shores looking to jibe a right tussle over this big glowing chunk of the heavens, have you? Hey, don't call poison ridiculous. Don't deny it. Hurt you tail of the one Captain Marga Underskull and have come racing in your piddling scowl to challenge the same to a mortal clash for to take this daisy booty. Um. Yeah, enough of this. Your panda's empty treasure you want at my dead rock. You feel it calling at you as did I, promising you its mysterious power. You'll not have it, not without a proper row, not without first putting my crew to royal and taking the ship. All to guns. Skull Clan boss? Don't like we don't like we don't like the word boss. Oh god, they are they are pretty tough. Uh oh, ow, 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 I just crashed into my boat, my other boat. Oh, we're sitting ducks. Oh, we're sitting ducks like this. Oh no. Oh gosh. Uh, where's he going? Where is he going? Where are you going, sir? He's running away is where he's going. Oh, don't get in the way, you numpty. <laughs> he's crashed into the rock. He's oh, we're going to crash into the island if we're not careful. Alright, let's do an about. Uh, oh, I think our boat is our friendly boat isn't doing very well. Where is he going? Get back here, you! Ah, he's really tricky to catch. One of our ships has just had to repair itself, but we are the other boats we have are hitting it. I think our other boat may have just died. 
possibly. Oh. Oh, our little boat's out there all alone unsupported. I can't bloody help it. Because I can't catch up. Oh. I'm coming, little fella. on our cannons is, is so slow. Uh, oh, we got the dead rock. My bounty's gone to water. Oh my god. They hit so hard. Crow into the salt with you. Into the drink, one and all. Knock them to the waters. So, what? what you knock my dead rock to water? What now? It isn't like as you can now finish your plunder and board my ship. Sky bounty seemed better than you lot and fended well. Never been taken. Board my ship, ridiculous. You'll never. Margo's crew is routed. Our guns can't pierce the sky bounty's hull. We have to use the harpoon to board their ship close and board. First step to boarding the enemy ship is to use the harpoon. Be careful, as the harpoon will eventually be dislodged by the enemy crew. God, okay. Ah! Nope, that's my ship. Ow! Oh, good job. Good job, boat. And by good job, I mean phenomenally terrible job. <laughs> ah! navigate the mist up ahead. I'm not trying to navigate the mist up ahead. I'm trying to catch up with this bloody guy's boat. Alright, we've harpooned the enemy. Now we just have to get within boarding range before they dislodge our harpoon. Okay, sure. We're in range of the enemy boats. Give the order to begin boarding and our sailors will jump over and fight. Okay, how do we how do I do that? Very quickly do that. Um, board. Space board. Victory odds. 3.4. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, add the captured boat to my fleet. Heck yes. Oi, don't think you lot have routed Marga Underskull. Not a bit of truth in it. You've just worn me down, taken my ship, and stole away my dead rock. You seem pretty routed to us. I'm impervious to your verbal harlotry. All you've got is words, and my ship and my dead rock. It's no matter to me to have lost all that I have to a crew of roused rabble on a piddling rock bucket. No matter at all, none. Okay. Spell Clang Boss had mad bluster. We were able to board and take that ship once it was weakened. Margaret's ship in our collection, we've got the beginnings of might be a real fleet. We have a real fleet already. Seems that these waters offer more than mere adventure for our efforts. Now, what's with this dead one? We should take it back to Doc Zisso for analysis. Heck yeah, we should. Dead Rock is the plural of Dead Rock. Said that dead rock comes from the sky. Hi, do you wanna do you wanna pick up? No. They were right though that you did have mad lust. Uh, all right. Well, I think that just about wraps us up for today. I'm gonna go into the fleet manager and see if I can repair stuff. We don't have a lot of. We don't have a lot of of stuff left.
apparently the Sky Bounty is, uh, is, is fully repaired, even though we literally just blew it to smithereens. Um... Oh, I tell you what, it's, uh... I quite like it. Maybe we'll take a command. It's got a lot of guns, and good guns too. See if we can get any of our below decks crew. People mix Kinzo! He's got a square for a face! Alright, everyone on board. Um, and Meeble mixed Singo. <laughs> oh, hang on. You're the new captain. because of your square face, which I love. <laughs> Alright, amazing. Uh, well, that's where we're going to end this for today. Don't go anywhere just yet, because I am going to send us all out on a wee little raid. Um, Glove says he must be the pirate he picked up. I guess he must be. I guess we must have picked up quite a lot of pirates uh, without me quite realising it. Um, I do love I do love old square face. Let's see who is live, who we can go and spread the love to. On the old Twitch movies. Need to do. You'll have to wait a moment because my Twitch is, as ever, really slow to actually load up. Oh my gosh! And we totally forgot to do a vote. Uh, while I've got people here, I'm going to very quickly set up a, a poll. <laughs> um, because uh, in the near future, I'm going to be doing my first ever like IRL type stream. It won't be a face stream, but you will see like handies and stuff. Because uh, I'm going to be doing some Lego building, and you guys are all going to get the uh, chance to help me decide what thing it is I'm going to build. So let's quickly run a poll. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And maybe I'll sail around a little bit while the poll is, is going on. Uh, new poll. Lego building. What are our options for today? I will actually have to show you what these are, because most people won't recognise these things. Uh, right. Do you want to give me a sec? Eurypterus, I can't spell. Hippocorus. Uh, Pythia. Generic plesiosaur. Alright, no digital boats. Duration. We'll have a shorter one. Five minute poll. Start poll. Alright. Okie dokie. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys what all of these various different things look like. Call us. Oh, this one's a spell by far. <laughs> uh, easy source. So these are all uh, non-dinosaur uh, extinct creatures. Let's, I'm going to take you back to the game for a sec. And then shove the window over it. But only if I can find how to do that. Because my brain is running real slow today. There we go. Yeah, these are all... Uh, Extinct aquatic creatures. Uh, we'll start with plesiosaurs. Most people will sort of uh, be vaguely familiar with plesiosaurs because that's what uh, Nessie is, supposedly. Uh, they're kind of long neck, small head, four flipper, uh, marine reptiles from the Mesozoic. Sometimes called like aquatic dinos or marine dinos. They're not dinos, but they coexist with dinos. Um, and I can, you could be forgiven for thinking them like. They, they, they look like a sauropod with flippers. 
Ah, uh, here's one eaten some ammonites. There's loads of different plesiosaurs, um, and they coexisted with pliosaurs, which were like members of the same family, but they traded the long neck for having just a massive head. I think this guy's a pliosaur here. Uh, yeah, so that's plesiosaurs. Then we have Peitoia. Uh, Space MB Ultimate says, I like Peitoia because it's Anomalacaris. It is, and I, I, I do love an Anomalacaris. Uh, so Peitoia is this sort of uh, invertebrate little boyo uh, with a sort of a segmenty body, kind of millipede like, but long before millipedes were a thing. Uh, it has these little tendril things that it used to grasp food and a radial kind of weird crunchy mouth instead of a proper mouth because we hadn't we hadn't really evolved proper mouths yet. Um, they're really cute. I can't remember how big they were. This one's this this will take me to their Wikipedia page. Uh, do we have a size? An easy size. No we do not. Does it say the size anywhere? Here. Of course not. That would be far too sensible. Um, Pitoia size. There we go. Oh well, this is a normal occurrence, but this is probably a a good sort of idea. Like, you know, they are they are smaller than people, for sure. Um, all the various different species that this guy is related to. Crump between the things what we managed to find first on anomalous caris. Yes, which is why we called them anomalous shrimp, because that's what we thought the little feeder tendrils were. I'm running out of time on the poll because I obviously didn't give enough time. So this guy's Eurypterus. He's they they get called sea scorpions, but they're not like scorpions. They are very weird. They're very small. They're really small. Um, they're little like kind of almost like. Fishy, um, almost like ostracods. If you if you've seen those, they're little guys. <laughs> they're they're funky. When are they from? They are from the Silurian period. There we go. Um, and then finally we have Diplocorus, who is just such a strange-looking guy. He's got this like shield-shaped, boomerang-shaped maybe head. Um, it's so goofy. With varying levels of, of exaggeration depending on your reconstruction, um, they're all they're all wonderful. Everything on this list is wonderful. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember when Diplocorus is from either. Actually, let's quickly go to his Wikipedia page. Uh, these guys are late Carboniferous, so these guys are much later than the uh, invertebrates, but uh, significantly before like the plesiosaurs and the dinosaurs. <laughs> says, "Hey, I know that Pokemon." <laughs> Is there a, is there a Diplocolus Pokemon? There's, there's far too many Pokemon now. Um, <laughs> oh no, the poll is all tied up. This is a disaster. <laughs> I need another vote from you guys. I'll have to rerun it. <laughs> Someone voted for the Eurypterus. Okay, it's fine. We've got we've got two votes for Pe Peitoia. I'm guessing Peitoia is going to take it. That's fine. That's wonderful. They're, I mean, they're all wonderful. Who says? Oh yes, I know the one you mean. Boom boom. Um, what's it called? It's called... Uh, hang on a sec. Do, 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 do. What's it called? Dragapult. Dragapult? Yes! Dragapult. Yes, you're not wrong! I never... Maybe I subconsciously might have seen that. Maybe that's why I like Dragapult. But, but I never... I never... Oh my god, I'm such a numpty. You're absolutely right, Boom Boom. Um, <laughs> they're all wonderful beans. They're all very goofy beans. Um, I, I, I love all of them. All right, so, uh, Peitoia will be going through to the, uh, the next round of voting. Basically how it's working is, uh, we've had two rounds of voting on modern animals. Those are going to go into a head-to-head. -head. We're going to have four rounds of voting on different categories of dinos, and those are going to go into, like, a four-way runoff. And then Peitoia from today, uh, Innistransevia from yesterday, uh, and the winner of the, the modern animals round and the winner of the dinosaurs round will go into a four-way vote uh, that will either be on the day of the build or the day before the build, depending on how timings work out. 
uh, for people to make a final decision on what I'm going to build. Uh, but it's a, it's a great Lego set. It's got lots of um, flexibility, and people have made lots of their own like creations using it. So I, I'm spoilt for choice on what to build. Uh, anyway, let's drop that. In fact, let's just move us over to uh, our just screen, because we, we do really seriously need to go and find someone to, to give a little raid to. Uh, I might have a quick search, actually. See if anybody else is playing this game. You sail forth. Bup, bup, bup. Um, not looking tremendously promising. One person in uh, a language which I do not speak and cannot tell you which one it is. Uh, one person who's just trying to stay awake and is in Indonesia. Uh, that's fine. We, we'll, we'll raid one of our more usual suspects. That's fine. Uh, who is live? Matsusaka May is live playing Digimon. I don't think I've ever seen a Digimon game being played. Or Centaur is live. I'm actually going to go raid Centaur. Um, Centaur is doing the post game of a po Pokemon Platinum Ironmon run. Uh, if you don't know what Ironmon is, it's the most ridiculously hard challenge for Pokemon imaginable, like Nuzlocke on steroids. Uh, but they finished the main story of their Platinum Ironmon after something like 5,000 attempts yesterday, which was phenomenal. Uh, so let's everyone go say hi to them. Uh, I will be doing my own Pokemon content again soon. I've got a little more um, homework to do on Pokemon Colosseum, getting everyone up to level. Uh, I'm hoping to have that done by next week, but you know, I mean, last time it took like two months, so so <laughs> uh, we'll we'll have to see on that. Um, but I'll be back next week with uh, some more Thief Simulator on Monday. Uh, hopefully, back this time next week with Shaka doing some more Baldur's Gate, but obviously we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, you can check out my YouTube channel down in the description, or if you're on YouTube, you should give us a like and give me a subscribe, and then you should check out my Twitch channel and come follow me over here, where things happen live. So you can watch them as they happen, and I can see your wonderful faces in the chat. Thank you to all of the wonderful faces in the chat. We've got Shaka, we've got Gloves, we've got Envy, we've got BPD. Uh, who did we have earlier? We had Zoe earlier and Trance Rights. Uh, we had Shasko. We had so many of you wonderful humans. It's so lovely to see you all. Uh, and I do hope I will see you all next time. But until then, enjoy your weekend. Ta everyone. Bye.